tell y'all, this is the last thing I'm gonna say before we move over. We about to move over. This is the last, this is the last thing I'll say. Stand for something, right? And be willing to die for it. I'm willing to die for each and every one of y'all. And I'm willing to step on toes for y'all, because truthfully, I love y'all, and I don't give a damn about the Taste of Soul. Because the Taste of Soul making millions of dollars off of it. Wow, this shit ain't gonna help us because they gonna pack up leave and the hood gonna be the hood. You understand? Real revolution will not be turned about. You understand? Let's move to the side. Where we gonna go? We gonna go, uh, Iran. Let's go to right here. Where? Hey, Iran. I mean, Rata. We trying to talk to you. I'm listening, bro. And now the, uh, the cop trying to talk. Call his officer. He's trying to talk to you. But the but the message is the message is heard though. Thank you for that correction. But now we move on. I don't know what that is tender among you and very delicate. His eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom. It says his eye shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom. We the only genre of people that make music degrading our women and then celebrate it. We're the only people that make a genre of music degrading our women and then our women dance to it. We twerk after a man just called you bees and hoes in the song and we celebrate that. You know what black people like to celebrate? Sexuality. Mm. Hypersexualization. No more. Like, if is this what Martin Luther King died for? Martin Luther King died for us to be just hypersexual now, right? Naked. All we talk about is money and sex. Money, sex, and drugs. That's all we talk about. That is what the epitome of what black culture is. Black and Latino, it's nothing but negativity. And our job is to eradicate it because it's what's given our people further into curses. We'll never be, that's why, how you think a nation of people that don't care for you gonna take you serious and we can't even get it together within ourselves? We can't even get it together within ourselves and we think that the white man is gonna give us a handout? Nah, this is all a game. That's why I say I respect what Kanye West said. You know why? Because he's exposing both sides of the matter. Your Republican Party and your Democratic uh, Party. Both of them is evil and both of them is wicked. And we both should do away with them as black people. We should have our own party. We should have our own party. You know what we should do? We should start it with the Bible. That's what we should do. We should start it with the Bible. Give me Joshua 1 and 8 because this is how you get wisdom. And if you say you're a Christian and you say you're a good, wholesome Christian, you believe in the Bible, then that means you cannot go hand in hand with this society because the Bible is against American culture. The Bible is against American culture. The Bible is against fornication, but we sell fornication on TV when we watch the BET Hip Hop Awards. Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. Meg the Stallion, how can you go to church but then you bump and Meg the Stallion on your way to church? Wait, nah, no. you know what? No, 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 no. They burp, they bump, they bump Kurt Franklin and then after church they bump Meg the Stallion. That's how black we gonna play our we gonna play our gospel for the first half of Sunday and then the next half of Sunday we not. Matter of fact, some of y'all might even go a step further. Y'all gonna bump y'all gospel the whole Sunday, but then right back to Monday you back to twerking. In the club on Saturday. Turkin oh no, you in the club on Saturday. Strip club. And then then, shit, I remember back in the day, at least back in the day, mama, at least they had the audacity to change their clothes. Now they wear the freaking dress to church. You look, you like, damn, am I at church or am I at a club? You understand? We at both, huh? We at church because church is a club. See, it's a club to keep you further sleeping and in, in, in indoctrination. See, this is the stuff that people don't want to hear. They don't want to hear the truth. See, I'm just saying the stuff that your conscience suppresses. We just saying the stuff that everybody can see it, but we suppress these things. We suppress these things. Black people are the biggest hypocrites in the world. I'm gonna tell you why they're the biggest hypocrites in the world. Cause one minute we black lives matter, the next minute we killing you. One minute we love black women, the next minute they bees and hoes. One minute we're, we gotta, we gotta uh, be Christian and then the next minute we in the club throwing ones. We're the biggest hypocrites in 2022. That's what, what Kendrick Lamar saying. I'm the biggest hypocrite in 2000, what? Was it 18? What 17. 15? 
Yeah, he was being honest because we are hypocrites. Our whole culture is hypocrites. I'm going to tell you, this is a taste of soul. You know how much shrimp and uh, catfish I smell? But the Bible says you're not supposed to eat that. You, did you know that? You didn't know that? I'm going to show you. I know you got to go. I'm going to show you this one thing. Read it for us. I know she got to go, but I'm going to show you this. Because she might be on her way to get some catfish. I hope not. You believe in the Bible? Yeah? You go to church? So, so if I show you something in the Bible, then that's what it is, right? Okay, let's show it. Get it. Who got it? My check. It's the book of Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 8. This is the King James Bible. Read. It's like it. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. It says this is what you should eat of all that is in the water. Watch what it say. Read. Whatsoever hath fins and scales. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Let me ask you a question. Does catfish have fins and scales? They got fins, right? Do they got scales? The Bible says you shouldn't eat catfish. Now let me now, now let me ask you this. Look, real quick, because some people might be like, no, that's the you can't tell me that I can't eat what does God know what you should eat and what you shouldn't? Who made your body? Did God make your body? Yeah, right? So, so should God have the right to tell you, hey, you probably shouldn't put this in your body because this is not good food for you to put in your body. Why do you think we have high blood pressure, heart disease, clogged arteries, the gout, all of those diseases that plague our communities because we eating that good old pork. Now, if you don't believe me, because you know black people don't believe when other black people speak. You know what I'm saying? Believe the white doctors. Dr. Oz told you that. You know, because I know y'all love Oprah, right? So, Dr. Oz did an experiment and said, this is what pork does in your blood. Because, you know, black people don't listen to other black people. When black people see other black people talk, they say, ah, oh, shut up, nigga. We don't want to hear that. But if a white man tell them, they might, li they might listen to it. You know what? I got to stop. And you know what? I hate to say it, but granny been eating pork all her life, and she didn't stop until she got the leg amputated. What? All right, mama. Why, 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 why? Now, now you got to stop when you get your gallbladder removed and you get your stomach taken out. Now you can't eat it. But why the hell did you abuse yourself with the food all your life and then you wait until you damn near about to die to change? That's, the, that's black people for you. That's how we think. I mean, enjoy it all my life. And then when you get old, you got to get arteries taken out. You understand? That's a problem. What we trying to tell you is breathe life into the kids. Breathe, breathe life into the next generation. Let's change our eating habits. Let's change the way we think about each other. Because our eating habits reflect the way we think. Our eating habits are dirty just like our behavior is dirty. Mm. All you got to do is go to our neighborhoods and you can see that. Mm. Our apartments is roach infested. Mm. Let's be honest. We nasty. Black people are nasty. I'm, 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 I'm calling it, I, I can say it because I am black. And I grew up with around y'all all my life. So I know what you are. And and I used to be that. And I don't mean, and, and, and I don't mean this in, in a terms of uh, any disrespect, but unfortunately, the truth hurts. Unfortunately, the truth hurts. And the truth of the matter is, black people, if the cops don't kill you, the fool gonna kill you. If the fool don't kill you, your own gonna kill you. Mm. And if your own don't kill you, the doctor's gonna kill you because they're gonna shoot you up with that COVID. You got that COVID shot? No, don't get that. You got the first one? Just, yeah, don't be careful. Remember, remember what I said earlier, right? Be careful, like, we believe whatever the white man say, right? He tell you this is good for you, put it in your body, we don't question it. We line up quick. You know what? That's Stockholm Syndrome. Whatever the white man say, we believe it. You understand? We the only people on the face of the planet that prays for the enemy. Everybody else rides on the enemy. Does, did America pray for Palestine? Mm. Did, did America pray for Iraq and Iran when they did the, the, the um, bomb, the 9-11? The did they pray for them? What, what did America do? Ravine. Bomb their ass. Excuse my language, but I got to keep it real. Why is it that everybody can fight against their enemies, but not you? See, when you talk about fighting from your enemies, you know what you are? You're a black supremacist. You know, they, they trick you with these terms that we don't really care nothing about. You're a black supremacist. Oh, my gosh. Why is he talking? We should all kumbaya, my lord. Only kumbaya, my lord, when it's against your enemy. But if it's American enemies, guess what? We gonna line up to go fight. Remember, remember in uh, what 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 was that? The Korean War, when uh the Viet the Viet Cong War. What 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 did Ali say? He said Viet ain't no Viet Cong kill me. <laughs> or Vietnam, Viet Cong, whatever. Yeah, whatever he said in that interview. Yeah. He said they ain't kill me. Who killed more black people? 
This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? See, the Bible says, who will rise up against the evildoers? Is America evil? Is America evil? It is? Is America evil? It is. It is. Everybody knows it, but we happy. You know why? You know why we're, we're happy to be in America, even though America's evil? Because America tells you you can do and be whatever you want. So what? Uh, we get drunk. So what? Uh, we have fun. Do whatever you want to do. Just don't talk about my system. The moment you start talking about the system, now we got a problem. You understand? So black people will love the pleasure more than standing up for something and dying for something that's righteous. But the Bible says, who will do what, Reed? Who will rise up against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Iniquity, he says, who will rise up against the evildoers? And who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? You know what iniquity is, OG? Iniquity is sin. Iniquity is wickedness. So now, the America, let's give an example. I said it earlier, I'm gonna say it again. America loves fornication. You know the cold thing about it is, yeah, cold thing about it, they promote sex. Sex is everywhere. You know that popular saying, sex sales? Oh yeah, and America's pimping out our women. Everybody trying to get the BBL, the Brazilian butt lift. Everybody trying to get that Coke bottle to show off that butt. You understand? Yeah. And America says, go do that. But you know, what does the Bible say? The Bible says, don't do that. But the, the America puts up people like Dwayne Wade and Gabriel Union and tell you, make your son a girl and applaud them for that. That's sick. You telling me a little kid, America tells you there's no such thing as gender. That's what America tell you. Did God say that? But how are we Christians? How is this a Christian nation? How? Somebody tell me. How is this a Christian nation when God said he created who? Man, let's get it. Get Genesis. God said he created man and woman, but America said there's no gender. But how is, so how do we pray for America? God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her. And guide her. How the hell are we praying for America when God said this place is evil? Mm. They're going against everything that God taught us. Give me that. Uh, Genesis chapter uh, 2. 2 and uh, watch this. Uh, one, one, oh, it's 1. Yeah, it's like it. Read that. It's the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28. And God blessed America. Genesis 1 and 28. 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 Genesis so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. But there's no such thing as gender. But the Bible, so if I say everybody who's walking by who believes in the Bible, everybody gonna raise their hand. But America says there's no such thing as gender. So you know what that means? Don't call a little boy a boy. Call him an it first un until he identifies with what he wanna be. Or it want to be. You can't even call it a he. You, you, you call a woman, you say, how you doing, sis? That's offensive. To call a woman a sis or sister, that's offensive now. How do you know I want to be identified by those terms? I don't want to be identified by those social norms. But the Bible did. Now, if you don't believe in the Bible, then that's cool. But if you say you believe in the Bible, then you're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. Because the Bible clearly tells you that there's genders. You understand? What else, what else does the Bible teach us? Let's, let's really read the Bible. Because you know down there when they was giving up the Holy Ghost down there? Because you know that's all Christian church is. is singing and dancing. You know, what, you, know what they, you know what a Christian church get that singing and dancing spirit from? You know what they used to call it back in the day? Shucking and jiving. That's what we do. We shuck and jive. We shuck and jive. We only good if we're entertainment. We entertain everybody. That's the only thing black people's good for. Shucking and jiving. But do we ever just read the Bible? Give me Revelations 18. Let's really read the Bible. You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Yeah, you do? Um, do you do you like America? So what 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 do you No 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 it's not it's not nothing like that. It's not nothing like that. We're just talking. I just wanted to ask if you you know what and you don't even gotta answer. I just want to ask you a question. Because we really just want to talk to people. 
You want to listen? Okay, just give me a thumbs up then. You can listen. When I ask you a question, just give me a thumbs up. So you so you said you like America, right? Thumbs up, thumbs down? No, I'm saying do you. Thumbs up, thumbs down? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Kind of, kind of? Okay. I'm going to show you why you shouldn't like nothing in it. You know why? Because somebody going to tell you, well, you, you get to walk around free. You get to talk on a microphone. You get to stand up. So let me ask you this. You know how you train a dog, right? You got to beat that dog into submission and then you give it a treat. All the oppression and all the... I'm going to tell you, let me just say this, why I hate America in the beginning of what America started and the bloodshed that it was started off of. You know why America's so rich? America's rich off of free labor. 200 plus years of free labor. And did we get any, any of that? The, watch this. The cotton industry. Black people shouldn't have to pay with, for nothing that got cotton in it. We shouldn't have to pay for nothing. So all the clothes you got on, black people should get free clothes. You know, you know the hospital? We should be able to go to the hospital without having to pay. Because you know what they used to do? Experiment on our women. Experiment on our men. Yeah, this is a fact. Right? Watch this. Read the, what you got. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 7. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. See that? America lived deliciously, but the Bible says he's going to give her torment for what she's done. You think God, look, God wouldn't be a just God if he just turned the, turned the cheek from that. So you get to tell me. I, I remember I used to be in the church. I used to be thinking like, dang. So we was slaves and we was killed for over 200 years and we just got to forget that? The Jewish community teach you better than that. Mm. You better not say nothing about Hitler. The Jewish community have a fit. Matter of fact, you can't say nothing. How much money does America give the Jewish community? Millions each year. The Jewish community get millions of dollars and they fight their wars. Meanwhile, they killing you in these streets. You understand? So let me tell you why I, I, I hate this place. Because you know all the gold and the cattle that we had in West Africa? See, they, see this is what people don't understand. They just didn't steal you. They stole your cattle. Do you know the Gold Coast, the Ivory Coast, the Gold Coast is the same as the Slave Coast? Because it was gold where you were. So when a white man put the maps together to figure out which Negroes were which, and he said, oh, this is where the gold is. Oh, this is where, oh, we got to go take them out. This is where the cattle is. They took the cattle and they shipped the cattle in them boats too. And not only just the cattle, the gold. So when they got here, they had an advantage because they had all the cattle. Now, somebody might think, well, what's the importance of cattle? Because black people, we have lost the mind of agriculture and cattle and, and, fr and farming. We think the Gucci bag, but you have no Gucci bag without a cow. You have no Gucci bag without a cow's hide. So when black people ride by farms, they be like, ugh, nasty cows. White people see money. See, black people think money is only in selling dope. See, if you're really about money, you need to go back to what we originally had before we came to America. All the clothes, which has come from the cattle. All that, We had all of that, and they stole it. And you know what they did? They gave it to each generation and passed it down. So when you see these rich people in Palace Verdes, and they didn't really work for it, and they was handed the silver spoon, all that is from money that was stolen from your ancestors. Bring it out. Do you not understand that? Insurance. Everything was started off of slavery. Insurance. Do you know where insurance started from? Because they had insurance on slaves. So when my nigga run away, right? When my nigga run away, I got insurance on my nigga. Mm. No, this is real. I got to call it like it is. Look, look, look this stuff up. I'm not lying to you. They, they literally stole everything. And the big, the greatest thing that they stole, and I got to say it, is they stole this book and made you believe this book was full of white people. Mm. That's the main thing they did. They made, you, they made you think that this book was full of white people. They made you think that in the heart of Africa, sub-Saharan Africa, black, all throughout Africa, where the Garden of Eden is, y'all know where the Garden of Eden is, right? It's what they call the cradle of civilization. That's the Garden of Eden. When you look at the rivers of where the Garden of Eden was, that's the cradle of civilization. That's what the Afrocentric people call it, the cradle of civilization. The Bible says that too. The scripture says that Adam was formed out of the dirt. 
Do you know what color dirt is? Dirt is brown or different variations of black. The more healthier soil is, the darker the ground. So how healthy was that soil that Adam was formed out of? And how dark was it and rich was it? See, the greatest, the greatest thing that they stole, aside from the money, aside from the clothes, aside from the cattle, was us being the people of this book. Bring it up. And they, washed, they whitewashed the images of who we really were. And I can prove it to you historically and scripturally. King Solomon, let's get that. Songs of Solomon, let's show them. The people was black. Go ahead. I know, I know. The country, how does men, people? Your people, you love your people. No, just different races. How does men, when you say do you love them, I just meant people. I just meant the country. Yeah. I'm not crazy. Yeah, yeah. I just meant I'm gonna be honest. I don't hate, you know, I don't hate nobody. Let me ask you a question. What is, uh, and that's good. What does hate mean? Is hate a bad thing? Hate, hate just means you're, you're, you're opposed to something strongly. No, look, look up the definition of hate for the brother. Somebody, somebody get the definition of hate on their phone real quick. Let's look up because this is the thing. This is how they get. This is how they trick black people. This is how they trick black people. Let me ask you this: Does America hate Iraq? Huh? They do because they bombed them. And let me ask you this: If I could kill you, what does that say that I, I feel towards you? America goes to war, right? And they kill their enemies. So do they love their enemies or they hate their enemies and they're killing them? Why is it okay for them to do that? Why is it okay for America to have beef? Call it justice. And they call it justice, yeah. <laughs> they call it justice. They call their beef justice. They call your gripe, you just a hateful bastard person. You're an angry black man. They call you, why we don't call him angry white man? <laughs> For killing us still to this day. Mm. You see, look, I'm gonna show you the, how the racism is. Y'all see what they did to the, the black girl that's trying to play the mermaid? Mm. Y'all see what they did? They made a, a, a mockery out of her. Out of a fictional character that ain't real. They mad because she playing. But why we can't be mad that they said Jesus was white? Mm. Bring that up. They can be mad that Ariel is black now. And we can't be, but we can't be mad that Jesus is really black. Mm. You see the hypocrisy? You see that? They mad at that. They mad because a little mermaid black man. But I show you Jesus was black. Oh, but we can't talk about that. You don't want to offend anybody. Does America care about offending anybody? Did Ronald Reagan care about offending anybody when he put drugs in the community? Did he care about that? And then when we found out that that's what he did, we didn't do nothing about it? Did America care about that? No. You understand? So why do we have to care? Huh? Yeah. Why do we have to care? No, we, we don't have freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is an illusion. Because when you look what they did to Kanye, mm. they froze his bank account and mm. calling them crazy. You don't got freedom of speech. You only got freedom of speech if you're saying something we like. Mm. Don't say nothing I don't like or you'll lose your job. Mm. There's no such thing. This is an illusion of freedom. You're only free as long as you yes boss and keep your head down. You know what black men like to say? I just want to stay out of it, keep my head down. Let me watch my football games on Sunday. Turn it, turn it down. Let me, let me, let me watch. You see that? They telling us we gotta turn our speaker off. See that? We gonna, we gonna, we gonna still talk. They telling us we gotta turn our speaker off. See that? Censorship because we're saying something that is offending their white people they love. See, when we say something against a white man, turn it off. Don't say nothing about our dear beloved white man. You can't speak like that. They're scared of strong black men. There's no free, that's an example of no freedom of speech. You understand? That's an example. Huh? huh? Yeah, but if we was gospel singing, yeah. Yeah. And, and watch this. If I was playing gospel music, they wouldn't tell me to shut it off. It was people down there with a mic. They didn't tell them to stop. Look, if I if I play gospel music, you know what they gonna do? They gonna clap and they gonna dance for the gospel music that I'm playing. But when I say when I talk about America's injustice, 
shut him up. And the cold thing about it is, they use our own brothers to do it. Have you, have you, have you noticed? Have, have you noticed? Have you noticed the more black presence in law enforcement? But I don't trust black police officers either. I don't trust them either, cause Eric Dorner showed you that. Salute to Eric Dorner. He showed you you can't even trust black police officers. Yep. Black police officers will kill you all in the name of that damn badge and hide what the white police officers is doing. So you think I care about African presence in the black uh, forces? No, we don't care about that. You know, we care about truth. And see, we're not raising fearful men anymore. Nobody's afraid to speak the way we're gonna speak because they train us to be scared. They train you to not say the obvious. Censorship. But you can't censor us. We gotta, we gotta move to the side. Well, where? Where? To the side. Where? So we gotta have a permit. Yeah, so now we're gonna move to the side. You know what I'm saying? And we still gonna preach. But that's called censorship. And we knew it was gonna happen. You understand? What I would tell y'all, this is the last thing I'm gonna say before we move over. We're about to move over. This the last, this the last thing I'll say. Stand for something, right? And be willing to die for it. I'm willing to die for each and every one of y'all. And I'm willing to step on toes for y'all, because truthfully, I love y'all, and I don't give a damn about the taste of soul. Because the taste of soul making millions of dollars off you. This shit ain't gonna help us, because they gonna pack up leave and the hood gonna be the hood. Real revolution will not be turned about. Let's move to the side. Where we gonna go? We gonna go, uh, Iran. Let's go to the Where? Hey, Iran. I mean, Rata. We trying to talk to you. I was missing you, bro. And now the, uh, the, the cop trying to talk. Call his office. He trying to talk to you. What's up, man? Nah, y'all doing it. Y'all doing it. Y'all doing it. Y'all doing it. So you know it. Chris, Chris. 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 You are, you are, you are. Like, when, you when, I'm, when, I, when I'm in the spirit, that's what happens. Yeah. But the, but the message is, the message is heard though. Thank you for that correction. But now, you know what you want. Okay, I don't know what you do when I talk to you. Had that same correction for the white officers? But if I'm going to talk to you, I'm not going to talk to you about the camera. Shout out my elders working, trying to get together Making sure we do it better Free us from this wider pressure My people catching cases Double life he facing Scattered all across the world I see familiar faces Say we all